Hi, Jason here with Resner Technical Services, and in this video we're going to look at this UDX75's status light and LED codes on the DSi board. At the bottom of the unit there is a status light that lets you know that the unit has power and is not in a fault mode. If the unit goes into a fault mode, then that light will blink. If there is a call for heat, then that light will be steady on, just the same as if there is power. And it is located by the electrical connections in the back of the unit on the very bottom panel. Once we open the door, we can see on the door there is a wiring diagram. And in the center of that wiring diagram, it has what the display codes are on the DSi board. And it also says what the status light indicates. If the status light is off, the heater is not connected to a power source or internal control board error. The status light is on, the heater is powered, and there are no faults. If it is flashing, the heater is powered, and there are faults. So if we do see faults, then that's where we have to look see what our display code is on our DSi board. So let's go through these codes. So our first display code is actually nothing, which means that we have an internal fault or a power failure. Also the status light on the bottom of the unit would not be illuminated if we didn't have power. So now turning on the line voltage side of the power, the DSi board will run through its own internal checks. Now with the dash in the center of the display, that indicates normal operation, no call for heat. So we currently have power coming to the unit, but no call for heat. The status light will be illuminated as well. So now I'm gonna give the unit a call for heat from my thermostat. What the zero means is the ignition sequence is active. So the unit's going to do a pre-purge by turning on the venter motor. And then once the DSi board sees that the pressure switch is closed, they'll start sparking. They'll open up the gas valve, try for a trial for ignition. Now I don't have gas connected to this, but if this thing were to light off, then that zero would end up turning to an H. So since I don't have gas hooked up, now the the unit's going to try a trial for ignition again, and the unit will try this three more times until it finally goes into a lockout from failed ignition or flame loss. The unit's trying to fire again. It's sparking, but without any gas, it's not going to light off. And then the flame sensor will not read back to the DSI board that there's flame. Prop fan came on because the DSI board has internal timings. Now the unit's trying to fire off again. The unit's sparking. The unit's going into a post purge just in case there was any gas inside the burner or heat exchanger to be evacuated. The unit is sparking again. Okay, now we are flashing L. That's a lockout from failed ignition or flame loss. To clear the L code, we can turn off our call for heat and turn back on our call for heat. And then that brings us back to our ignition sequence. Our venter motor starts up, which should close the pressure switch, but I have it disconnected currently. The three flash, that is the pressure switch, is not closed within 30 seconds of energizing the venter motor. When we do get the three flash, it's usually an indication of a venter motor failure or something could be clogged in the vent pipe. With just the line voltage on, I'm getting a four code, which means a pressure switch is closed before the venter motor is energized. So usually that would just indicate a faulty pressure switch. Display code 5 means that there is either a limit switch or a rollout open. The limit switch is internal and is an automatic reset, while the rollout switch has a manual reset button. The manual reset is on units sized 30 to 125. Anything bigger than 125 only has 
the automatic reset limit. The DSi board on the unit is polarity sensitive, so if we get a 7 code on our display, that means we need to switch the hot and the neutral coming in on our line voltage. So now I'll go ahead and disconnect power on my line voltage side, and I will just switch my hot and my neutral. Now that I've switched my hot and neutral, and I have a good ground, it's very important that we have a good ground because the unit rectifies flame through ground. So I connected power back up. The DSI board is going to go through its checks. Now I'm not giving the unit a call for heat. It's just being powered up right now. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.